Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceOurRestore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. Uh, this is the 1950 Ford F47, or uh, the equivalent of our American viewers, it's the F1 uh, pickup truck. So in our, our uh, previous video, we had the cab um, was sitting on the frame and we were just ready to uh, lift the, the cab off of the frame. Uh, so obviously we've done that now, so we're going to share with you after this video uh, the cab being off and, and it's on one of our dollies. So we're just going to do a, a quick um, how do you do on the engine. So um, this is a very desirable motor, it's the flat head uh, 8 cylinder Ford motor. Now because this is a uh, Canadian vehicle, um, being the F47, this has been incorrectly painted. This is a, a much newer period of blue. Um, as we mentioned earlier, when we had the front clip off and the hood off on the truck. We had noted where the previous shop had done some painting to it and the paint was chipped and peeling in quite a few spots. Um, so we're going to have to check the uh, the engine and inspect it. doesn't look like there's a gasket between the exhaust manifold and the cylinder heads as there should be. Uh, we're going to be doing a dual exhaust. Our client would like an updated um, couple of little updates on it and, and a, a true dual exhaust uh, with a nice exhaust note. It's one of the things we'll be doing. Um, so we'll discuss with the client because this drive line um, is a very attractive engine and most of the engine bay is open when you lift the hood uh, to take a look at the drive line, and this should be, being a Canadian F47, it should be like a beige color. Some people uh, have nicknamed the color Cummins Beige, but uh, to the best of our knowledge, the beige is what the cylinder heads and blocks should be, and then the intake, they have it almost correct. It is a gray, um, I don't think this is the correct gray for the intake, but it's similar uh, in appearance, where it should be a gray intake, and then beige. If this was an American 1950 flathead 8 in the trucks, uh, they were red. Um, so it's been incorrectly painted blue. And then we go to the front of the engine, kind of like the focal point uh, behind the radiator, you can see where they painted all the pulleys blue, um, which they should be black uh, to match the fans. So just some anal things that uh, kind of bug me. I know we're not doing exact every nut and bolt like a, um, a trailer queen kind of thing um, or a core, core restoration, but everything being true, this is a numbers matching engine drive line with the truck, so really it should be painted uh, the correct beige, uh, being the Canadian version of this truck. Um, the other thing I'd like to point out as we come down this side. Um, they, they've done some brake lines and, and they did some fuel lines and they did it incorrect and they used the cheap line. Um, something that really bugs me if the camera person can uh, look at, we've got our pedal, so we've got the clutch pedal and brake pedal. You can see our master cylinder, um, it's never been touched. So um, it's all rusty, it's got full of crap and stuff inside it. So um, the lines that they put on, um, basically before you deal with um, running brake lines and flex lines is you want to start at the source which would be the master cylinder um, and you need to either replace that old original master cylinder or at least clean it completely flush it out um, but we're going to be doing a, a disc brake conversion kit so it'll be a different master cylinder setup we're going to be using the original pedal setup um, but we'll use the, uh, the better uh, nickel copper lines when we go to run uh, the brake lines and the fuel lines. So just uh, a quick overview of the frame uh, and the engine. So this is the 1950 Ford F47. In our next video we'll share with you the cab because the cab obviously now off. We have it on a dolly and we've, uh, we're going to do some work on the, uh, testing the paint. So I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.